when I was seven years old. My dad said, hey, Sarah, why don't we get a photo? And that's when it hit me. This is gonna be the last photo of me with two legs. That's when I realized that this is really happening. They're gonna amputate my leg and they're gonna take it away from me. I was born with my disability. I mean, I, I had a leg malformed uh, when I was born. And I really didn't know that people with disabilities could be athletes. But I saw this woman on a prosthetic leg running a 10K race. And she was so fluid and graceful and strong and powerful. And in that moment, my life changed. And I realized, wow, I could run a marathon. Maybe I could go to the Paralympics. Maybe I could achieve something great. And that's really where it all began. There are triathlons all over the world, but the Hawaii Ironman is legendary. So in 2004, I qualified to do the Hawaii Ironman. And I'm gonna make history. I am the first woman on a prosthetic leg who's gonna conquer these 140 miles. The race starts. I had a great swim, come out of the water, and get on my bike, feeling really, really strong. And probably around 20 miles in, the headwinds start kicking in. The winds on the bike were extreme. They were epic. And I fought against those winds with all my heart and with every ounce of energy I had. I tried to show a woman could do this thing, and now I have failed. I was broken. Many times in my life, I feel like people have sort of told me, stop, you can't do that. But my whole life has been about showing that I can do it. So in 2005, I went back to the island of Hawaii and I trained even harder than I had the year before. I had a great year. And I made history as the first woman on a prosthetic leg to finish the Hawaii Ironman. there's still this seven-year-old girl inside of me that's trying to prove to the world that all people are unstoppable.